Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Oxhorn and with this video I'm going to show you every food and beverage item that came with Far Harbor. Many of us use those items every day in our inventory, but how many of us know what they actually look like? Well, I'm going to show you what every single food item looks like, including all of the beverages and the cooked meats. First, let's start with beverages and uh, let's get Vim out of the way. So you learn these Vim crafting recipes at the Vim Cola bottling plant in Far Harbor. You can find the recipes on the various terminals. Unlike certain Nuka recipes, which you can't craft, like Nuka Cola Dark and Straight Up Nuka Cola, you can craft Vim. So let's take a look at Vim. Remember that there are ice cold variants of all of the different Vim beverages, which improve the HP and AP. I'll show you what those look like in a minute. So one Vim, so Vim heals 30 HP over time, 10 AP over time, and 35 HP over time, which is a little confusing. And the weight of each cola bottle is one, which can stack up pretty quickly. Let's take a look. Interesting, so here too it does say, uh, heals 30 HP, 10 AP, and then 35 HP again. You know what? I bet you that last HP line is from a perk that I've got because I looked up the stats for Vim and it said only 30 HP and 10 AP over time. The only thing that I can think of that would explain this is I do have the Wasteland Survival 3 perk from the magazine. It says heal 50% more from irritated packaged food and drink but does that count Vim? Because Vim doesn't actually give you any rads. It's not irritated. It is packaged, but it's not irritated. So I don't know, maybe there's a bug in the code or something. And this is what it looks like. A nice brown bottle of Vim Cola. Pretty attractive. Next up is the Vim Captain's Blend. Sea creatures are more hesitant to attack you. Okay, interesting. Plus 100 AP, which is pretty cool. And then it heals 600 HP over time. However, it costs you minus two charisma. What I don't get is the also plus 75 HP over time at the bottom there, because that can't be counted by the Wasteland Survivalist perk. So, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me, but let's check it out. And a handsome purple bottle there. Interesting, I never noticed that before. It says tester on it. And I guess that uh, can be explained by the lore that we learn about Vim from the game. Uh, we find out that it was currently being tested when the bombs fell, so they never actually got to release the Captain's Blend version of the drink. So that's why the label says tester on it. Vim Quartz plus 15 carry weight. Cool. 25 AP over time and 75 HP over time. I carry the Captain's Blend and the Vim Quartz with me everywhere I go because the Vim Quartz will stack with other carry weight improvements, including food and chems. And uh, the 100 AP from the Captain's Blend is pretty great. If I'm ever out of AP, I'll just pop a Captain's Blend Pop a jet fuel and I'm good to go. Anyway, let's test it out. And there's the lovely Vim Quartz. What a handsome bottle. It also has a really nice glow. In a dark room, you can see a Vim Quartz hiding from a mile away. Next, we've got Vim Refresh, increased action point recovery rate. Another wonderful drink for a sniper build like mine. I keep a bunch of Vim Refreshes with me because it stacks with jet fuel, which means that my AP regenerates incredibly fast. 150 HP and 105 AP. This one's got a lemon-lime look to it. Either that or maybe a Mountain Dew look to it. But it's got another great glow. So the, the Captain's Blend, the Quartz, and the Refresh glow just like the Nuka-Cola Quantum. Sadly, the regular Vim doesn't glow just like the regular Nuka-Cola doesn't glow. But they all look great. I put them in my ice cooler. This is from a mod. This gives the same functionality as the Buddy Robot, but it's just an ice cooler that you can put in your settlement. Uh, anyway, I put, uh, I put all four of those in the ice cooler to see if they get ice cold, and they do. Let's check out their stats. So it's a significant boost. The ice cold Vim 
goes from 30 HP and 10 AP to 55 HP, but the AP stays the same. Captain's Blend goes from 100 AP and 600 HP to 120 AP and 700 HP over time. Wow, that's like uh, right up there with stim pack level stuff if you have all of the medic perks. Vim Quartz goes from 25 AP, 75 HP to 35 AP and 75 HP. And the Vim Refresh goes from 150 HP and 105 AP to 225 HP and 180 AP. That's pretty great. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to make ice cold variants of all of these and keep them with me instead of just the regular ones. In case you wondered, the ice cold versions look exactly the same as the regular versions as you'd expect. Next up is Where's Brew. You get the Where's Brew from completing some uh, quests for the Nucleus in Far Harbor, and it heals 100 HP over time and instantly removes 100 rads. Let's check it out. Wow, that's a pretty big flask. It's got wear, brew, tape with masking tape, it looks like, onto the bottle there. And then we've got some uh, typical Children of Adam symbols of atoms and nuclei and all of that. Pretty good looking. Now, maybe I shouldn't include this, but raw sap is one of the ingredients for Ware's Brew, and it is a consumable in its own right. It heals 60 HP over time, and it says it gives you zero rads. Look at that. It says rads zero, but then when you eat it, it's the rads thing pops up. <laughs> That's a little weird. And there you go. Looks just like the Ware Brew, only it's an unskinned version. It doesn't have the label on it. Looking nice. Incidentally, there is no ice cold version of neither the raw sap nor the Ware's Brew. I just waited 24 hours and these are not ice cold. That does it for the drinks. Next, on to roasts. First up is the Fried Fog Crawler. Damage resistance greatly increases in foggy and rainy weather conditions for 30 minutes. So, a fantastic food companion if you plan to spend a lot of time in Far Harbor. Probably better for lower levels. HP 125 over time and damage resistance plus 50 over time. Let's check it out. Oh, is it winking at me? Oh, that is just, you know, it reminds me of, it reminds me of those uh, black sausage puddings that you can get in Scotland. Is that what they're called? They sell them in carts. It's basically just coagulated blood wrapped in pig intestine. Okay, all right, moving on. Next up is grilled hermit crab, and considering how difficult it is to get the hermit crab meat, uh, we can understand why it heals 200 HP and grants two endurance and two strength for a period of time. This is great for somebody who's wanting to increase their carrying capacity uh, for a dungeon crawl. Two strength, that's plus 20 carry weight right there. And it lasts for 30 minutes. Not bad at all, let's check it out. What? That looks just like the Deathclaw steak. Look, it even has a bone in it. Hermit crabs don't have bones? What? Seriously, Bethesda, they don't have bones. Ah, my immersion, it's broken. Mmm, next up is some Mire Lurk Jerky. Plus three perception, plus 15 poison resist for 30 minutes. This is one of the few items I can think of that actually increases your poison resistance. And for 30 minutes too, that's quite a long time. This is a very specialized item, not many instances where you're gonna need something like this. And the plus three perception, that's a whole lot of perception. I can't think of another item that grants as much perception off of the top of my head. But perception of all stats, I suppose I could use it on my sniper because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but perception increases your hit chance in VATS, and if that's true, then plus three perception is pretty intense. Well, let's see what it looks like. Ha! Huh. It doesn't look anything like jerky. The mystery meats that came in Nuka World look more like jerky than the Mirelurk jerky. Looks like squirrel bits on a stick. 
Next up is Poached Angler, plus 15 action points and reduced fall damage for 20 minutes. Uh, since foods stack, this is another great one to use in a sniper build when you need a lot of action points. And also a good one if you don't have the free fall legs yet, or if you only have one acrobat piece of armor. You could use the post angler until you get two pieces of acrobat armor to mitigate your falling damage. Also heals 100 HP over time. Holy cow! Way to take up the whole table. Wow, that is one fillet of fish. Look at it, look at how huge it is compared to the other pieces. It makes you wonder why Bethesda makes the decisions that they do. This is, I mean, they definitely chose to make that so freaking huge. And yet they also chose to be lazy with the hermit crab and leave a bone in it. What? Next up is the seasoned rabbit skewers, and these are really cool. Plus one luck for 30 minutes. 45 HP over time, but uh, clearly the whole point of these is to get that extra uh, benefit of luck. But man, look at the ingredients. You gotta have a you gotta have black blood leaf, blight, and lure weed. And uh, black blood leaf at least is I haven't seen a lot of that. And the rabbits themselves. You gotta do a bit of hunting. Hey, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. Hey, look at that. It actually looks a lot different from the Mirelurk jerky, which itself looks like squirrel bits on a stick. So they decided to give the uh, seasoned rabbit skewers a unique skin, but not the uh, Mirelurk jerky, which is interesting. Pretty cool. Next up is wolf ribs. Small accuracy bonus and night vision in exteriors for five minutes. HP plus 60. Wow, that's cool. Night vision in exteriors for five minutes. Requires lure weed and wolf meat. Well, you know what this means. We're gonna have to test it to see exactly what this night vision looks like. So here we are in a dark, rainy, and cloudy night. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. So this should be a great time to test the wolf ribs to see what night vision looks like. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it looks like the edges of the screen go blurry. Do you see that on the uh, right and uh, left sides and the top? and then things kind of just get pumped up in terms of brightness just a tad. So, for those of you who don't have a Pip-Boy, <laughs> you could, well actually no, there's a, there's a benefit for this because the Pip-Boy will alert enemies to your presence, right? But if you use the wolf ribs, then you can see at night without alerting a raider to the fact that you're there. So, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And who knows, maybe this can be useful. I think that distorted vision on the edges of the screen is kind of distracting though. I mean, well, I guess it's not that bad. It's a, it's not that bad. Okay, well, huh, that's interesting. I might have to uh, start using some of these wolf ribs in my gameplay to see if it makes a difference. And it does! Hooray! And it looks like the Yao Guai ribs only kind of darker. Almost, uh, maybe singed or something? It looks almost burnt. Next up, we've got soups! Lots of different soups to choose from. Top of the list is the brand new chicken noodle soup. That came with Far Harbor. Plus 55 radiation resistance for 30 minutes. Okay, so if you don't have a hazmat suit, actually this doesn't even compete with a hazmat suit, but uh, pretty steep ingredients, that black blood we uh, leaf is going to be tricky, and the chicken thighs, I can't think of a place where I would go to find a lot of chickens, but heals 60 HP over time, which is pretty cool, let's take a look at it. Oh, I like the way it looks, that's a unique bowl, isn't it? Looks like we got big chunks of chicken in there and all sorts of tasties. But it looks great. Next up is Gulper Slurry Invisible for 10 seconds. This is basically the ability to craft a stealth boy 
which is pretty sweet. Although it doesn't last quite as long as a stealth boy. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. Let's go invisible. And I can run around. Sweet, it works. Oh man, look at that. It's like a it's like a spam can of Oh, uh, like <laughs> that's uh, a lot of different uh, uh, descriptive words came to mind looking at the color and texture of this gulper slurry, but uh, I don't want to be making people vomit, so I'll just keep that to myself. Here's something you probably haven't seen before. This is Ground Mole Rat. It uh, recovers 60 HP over time, but it gives you two rads. And uh, this is cut content from the game. You can only get this using console commands. Um, I read online that you're supposed to be able to find it in the last plank in Far Harbor, but I went there and I couldn't find it. But it does have its own unique texture in there. Kind of like a, like a brain kind of looking thing. Well, it's ground mole, right? <laughs> what do you expect? This next one is called the Captain's Feast. It grants you a 10% experience gain for two hours. You get this as a quest reward for completing the Rite of Passage quest in Far Harbor. This is a one of a kind item. Uh, you can't craft it, you can't find it anywhere else. Once you eat it, it's done. So if you do complete that quest and you get this unique consumable item, make sure that you've got two hours to kill grinding experience to get the most benefit out of it. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is all of the craftable food and the unique or interesting food in the Far Harbor DLC. I didn't include vegetables or raw food here. This is just what you can cook and some of the other more interesting ones. But if you want that video, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make it for you. I love how even items like these that are rather inconsequential, Bethesda puts a little bit of time and attention into, and they do make great settlement decorations, especially if you want to lay out a table for settlers or something like that. Incidentally, the latest version of OC Decorator is compatible with all of the food that comes in Far Harbor. I used OC Decorator to decorate this table. All it required is that these food items were in my inventory or my workbench. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun putting it together and I actually learned some things. I hope you did too. If you like videos like these and you want to see more like them, please subscribe. And if you have ideas for other videos that you would like to share with me, leave a comment in the comment section below. I read all of my YouTube comments and I respond to the very best ones. If you like what I do and you want to support me personally, consider being my patron on Patreon. Patreon subscribers get access to my private Discord server, and I really appreciate it. But more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just glad you're here today watching my videos. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn. I release a new video every day, so tune in tomorrow. Same Ox time, same Ox channel. See you then, everybody. Have a good day.